everyone, my name is Danielle. Welcome to another episode of Board Game Bakes. This week we're going to feature Fluffy Frontier, which is produced by Ion Games and it's currently available for pre order on their website. I'll put the link down below. In the game, you play as a cute, fluffy animal, which is actually an alien from different stars. But shh, the humans don't know. Haley's comet approaches and all the animals go to study it. You collect resources and you do experiments and try and find secret alien supplies. So we're going to recreate one of the animals. We're going to do the cat because that's what was featured on the cover. And we're going to make fun little space helmets with a cat in it, but they're going to be delicious cake pops. Let's get started. Time to make some tasty cake pops, which thankfully cost a lot less than when you have to buy them from the store. You need some cake and icing to get started. This is a great opportunity to use the leftover cake bits that you create while sculpting your other cakes. This time I even used leftover icing from the cake I made last week. So it's a great way to avoid food waste. Take your cake and put it in your mixer and mix it until you get small crumbs. Add in your icing slowly and you want to keep adding frosting until you get a cookie dough consistency. To make it easier to handle, put it in the fridge for a bit to harden. You can use a mold to sculpt your cake balls or you can use a cookie scoop with the goal overall of making your balls roughly the same size, which mostly happened. Use your hands to roll them into nice smooth balls. And next you want to melt some candy melts. So this is before you've had hard or anything. And you want to melt the candy melts and dip in one end of your popsicle stick into the chocolate and then dip it into your cake ball. This way it has some glue holding them in place. Place the cake pops in the freezer to harden so this way they'll be easier to dip into the chocolate. While the cake pops are hardening, melt your white chocolate candy melts in the microwave, which is usually done in 30 second increments. You could also add easy melts. This one's by Wilton to the chocolate to make it easier to dip. I'll put the link below. I recommend using the melts because it makes it so much easier, believe me, so much easier to dip the cake pops and drain the excess chocolate off. This way you don't have that as chunky and you get a nice thin layer. After dipping the cake pops in the chocolate, tap it on the side to remove any extra chocolate or candy melt since there's not actually any chocolate in here. Place it onto a red, non-melted candy melt and this is gonna form a base so this way they can stand up by themselves. The candy melt is also going to function as the base of our space helmet. You can make all these as white cake pops, or if you run out like me, you can switch to a different color and decorate those later. While you're here, make sure you hit subscribe for new videos every Tuesday at 12 p.m. EST. Thanks! While your candy is setting, work on the rest of your decorations. Roll out a piece of white fondant so that's an eighth of an inch thick. Use a mixture of paint and edible markers to draw some space cats or I guess aliens in the game. Start with the outline, making sure that you have enough cats for the number of white cake pops you're trying to make. Give the cats their ears, nose, eyes, and whiskers. Some of the details are definitely easier to add with the black edible marker. Let it dry and then cut out your cats. Use either a small amount of water or icing to attach your cat onto your cake pop. The next step is going to be to paint the base of your helmet with silver paint so that's why it's nice and shiny. As a finishing touch, take some silver shimmer dust and give it a little dusting so that's why it's nice and sparkly. If you have some cake pops that aren't white, you could just make them into the theme and add some paw prints on them using some of that nice silver paint that we used on the base of the helmets. Now you've got a nice and handy snack for your trip to outer space. Thanks for watching another episode of Board Game Bakes. I hope you enjoyed seeing this more simple bake. It'd actually be quite easy to make in the evening and then you could serve it to your friends at game night. And it even saw sticks, so it shouldn't be as messy, right? People don't like messy snacks for game night. It's very true. So Gen Con's coming up soon. Let me know in the comments. Who can I expect to see there? Keep playing games and keep them sweet. Bye.